In today's video, we're going to continue our exploration into cycle time and lead time. Now, in the past, I have shown you how to calculate cycle time and lead time by timestamping and doing a bunch of trickery and magic tricks inside of Jira. But in today's video, which is sponsored by my good friend over at Old Street Solutions, now part of Tempo, we're going to be looking at how custom charts for Jira allows us to achieve the exact same thing with a whole lot less headache. Sure, this is a paid plugin, but I guarantee you that it's going to be worth its weight in gold because it's going to be so easy to calculate these numbers, especially since custom charts for Jira now has a time and status functionality that is going to make this entire cycle time and lead time so much easier to calculate and visualize. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you drop a like to this video, and most importantly, check out the links down below so you can find a link to my merch store, to my paid courses, and most importantly, get a trial for custom charts for Jira. Don't want to sleep in cuz I got something to prove I got to take what I hate and finally make a move Let's jump into a dashboard so I can show you this amazingly new time and status feature that is built into custom charts for Jira. Let's take a look. So you're going to want to be in a dashboard in order to do this. You're going to want to be in edit mode and you are going to need, right? So in order to proceed with this, you do need custom charts for Jira. So make sure you use the link down in the description below so you can get a free 30-day trial to custom charts for Jira. Keep in mind this video is sponsored, so they are enabling this um, by supporting the channel. So you should go and click on that link as well. Now, once you have custom charts installed, you're going to be able to click on this custom charts button here. You're going to click on add. And once you click add, it's going to show up over here on the left. Now, disregard this whole invalid JQL. I was messing around earlier, and so you will not see that. Now, one little tip that I have for you is that you should expand your custom charts here as soon as you get in there because having access to the entire thing is going to be so much better. Um, it's going to be just the experience is much better when you have the full screen to be able to edit your gadget because when it's condensed, you got to scroll left and right. And I find that this experience is much better. Now, again, disregard this whole error thing because I am by default, I always use simple search. Now, this is an advanced topic there. Go see my other videos that I have from Custom Charts for Jira. For the simplicity of this project, we're simply going to click on projects and we're just going to pick a project that we have. Once you do that, click search. You'll notice that this item is now saying no data because now we need to select our chart by. And so this right here is where the magic happens. This is the new functionality that the good folks over at Custom Charts for Jira have added. And this is called time and status. Now, this video would not have been possible if they hadn't added this capability and they are just starting to roll this out. And so we wanted to make sure we highlight how amazing this time and status is is how easy and intuitive it is to set up. So check this out. So in your chart by, you're going to type in status and you're going to notice that you have your traditional status. This is the one that's been in there forever and ever. But now here we have a time and status status. This is the new feature and you're going to want to click on that. And once you click on that, Jira is going to go do its thing. Now this is a pie chart. You can change your template so you see the 1D bar. You can see however you want. Pick the favorite one that you like. But just make sure your chart by is the status that is time and status. Once you do that, Jira is going to go and essentially figure out and calculate for each status how long each issue has been in. Now, this is going to show you all the issues that have been in to do and how long they've been in there. But maybe you want to see a breakdown. So in that case, I would recommend you use a 2D chart. You use the same time and status here. But then you put like the key so that you get the individual issues. Now, this is going to work well if you have like a few issues, but if you have too many issues, it might not work out very well. But this is probably the view you're going to want. This is going to tell you each issue and how long it's spent in each status. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, whoa, those are some really, really big numbers. These are in hours. So what we want to do is convert these to days. Now, you could go bust out the calculator and figure it all out or check this out. Check how simple it is to do this. All you got to do is click on this display options here. Scroll down to the bottom here where we have time unit and we're going and it's under general options and we're going to change it from hours. We're going to bump that up to days and you'll notice that we now have better, easier numbers to understand. 
And so these numbers are now showing you for each particular issue how long they were in a particular status. Now keep in mind that my issues are just demonstration issues. I don't actually like use Jira here, this, this particular instance for day-to-day -day activities. These are just for training and tutorials. And so my numbers are just gonna be like total garbage. Hopefully, fingers crossed, yours are a little bit more representative of a real world situation. But in any case, you are now gonna be able to leverage these numbers, right? And so to do your cycle time, well, all you gotta do is, you know, add this one plus this one, and you're gonna get your cycle time. Or you can add this one plus another one, and you can get your lead time, right? And so now you can do the mathematics yourself, but they're all visualized for you. But what you're gaining is you no longer have to timestamp, you no longer have to go create those custom fields, and you no longer have to create automation rules, which by the way, you're gonna to have to start paying for very, very soon. And so this is a, a really cool and easy way of being able to visualize all your issues and being able to see how much time they spent in each status. And then of course, once you have these numerical values, now you can calculate yourself your time and status and whatnot. Now, if you wanted to take an average, you can also, instead of doing sum, you could do an average up here and you can exclude empty values if you wanted to. And this will alter your values just ever so slightly. So you can then get averages instead. But I'm gonna leave it for sum and just leave that there. And this is gonna tell me again, for each of my issues, which ones were spent and how many days and how much time. Now, if you wanted to see them the other way, you can just simply reverse this. You can put your key up here and your time and status down here, and then your issues will go down the list and then your statuses go across. So it's up to you how you wanna visualize it. At the end of the day, you're gonna get a really, really helpful number. And I think this functionality for custom charts for Jira is really, really important. And I think more teams should be leveraging this because time and status is very, very valuable. Knowing how much time a particular issue stayed in a particular status is just a plethora of information that every scrum master or every project manager absolutely needs because if an issue is taking too long, right? If you're breaching these, these whatever goals you've created for yourself, right? So if an issue is taking two, three weeks in to do, why is it stuck in to do, right? Does it mean that your team's like prematurely creating all these stories way too far ahead of time? Or is something stuck in, in progress for two, three, four weeks, right? Way beyond the durations of your sprint. Well, you want to investigate. You don't want to just have the numbers and go, okay, cool, we have numbers. But once you have this information, once you've brought to light what's actually happening, then the most important part is you want to take action. And this tool, Custom Trust for Jira, is a really, it's a very powerful tool that gives Scrum Masters, project owners, whoever's managing these projects, it gives you an arsenal of information that then allows you and enables you to go take action with facts and data. So now when you're influencing the behavior of your team, you're no longer just doing hearsay. You are now actually showing facts and data. And again, you have a couple of different ways to get this data. You can follow my videos that I did the last couple of weeks, which is very manual, which is very time consuming, requires you to have a good, decent amount of Jira skills, or you can just enable custom charts for Jira, again, small fee, monthly fee that your company would be paying for. But trust me, if it, in, if it leads to the discovery that you're able to find out more accurately and more precisely where your team is wasting resources, this is worth it. This makes it all worth it. So even though it is a paid plugin, it is a plugin that is just gonna make your life infinitely easier. Again, you have the free way of doing it, but trust me when I tell you, that being able to do this and with just a couple of clicks, because once you hit save, it's always going to be there and it's always going to be updated and there's no other special math that you have to do. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, did I forget to do this automation rule? What if it fails? What if whatever? Like custom charts is taking care of it for you. So it's worth that little fee. But anyways, I'm really excited for this feature. I think this is something that so many people have been wanting. So many people usually crave. It's one of the number one questions that I typically get is, how little I know how long something has been in a particular status. Well, here it is, Custom Charts for Jira now gives it to you. If you found this video valuable, please do make sure you smash the subscribe button, drop a like if you got value out of it. And most importantly, if you're not using Custom Charts for Jira, they've been a strong support of the channel since day one. They were my very, very first sponsor. So go show them some love. Custom Charts for Jira is probably one of my favorite plugins in the entire at last in marketplace and i know they do they do pay me to say those things but that that one is this come from the heart uh, i really do uh, enjoy this plugin and i use it almost daily and every team that i enable this for they just absolutely love it so if you're not using custom trust for jira go start a free 30-day trial 
and find out why everybody falls in love with it. It's really a game-changing tool. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you share some love with my friends over at O3 Solutions, now acquired by Tempo, and I'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.